Alright, let's see if we can dodge everybody at the gates, and oh my god. Goodbye. Uh. Because I tried uh, leveling up a little bit on my own time, and it did not enjoy that at all. I, it, I, whatever. And that's a robot. Real Let's take them on. Okay, the robots I can handle. The angels I cannot. That was easy. This feels great. I'm glad. I forgot he has a Chinese dragon on his arm. Okay, now let's see if I can not do what I just did a thousand more times. <laughs> uh, uh, you're so fast! This planet's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh, hello. I'll just go this way. I fuck myself, land. I feel like there's chests somewhere. But I'm afraid. At least I can turn the camera now, though. I thought this place would be smaller, but no. What even is this planet? Seriously, no fucking loot. Well, that's where I have to be, and you can't just jump down there. Rude. Okay, well, uh, hi. Albel wasn't invited. So this is the time gate. The gene of connection. Sophia, Dr. Leingod said you have the genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Well, that's understandable. I'm sorry. Don't say that. There's nothing to apologize for. But I'm letting you all down. Don't worry about it. If you say so. Sophia's powers haven't manifested yet. I know. Well, we won't get anything accomplished just standing around here. Let's check out the gate. Good idea. <laughs> what is it, Sophia? Are you okay? Hmm. I'm just getting in the way, aren't I? Not at all, Sophia. And don't be afraid to say when you're hurting. It moves? This is how it normally operates. What is it? My hand. It's hot. What's happening? I don't understand. <laughs> Sophia! She's manifesting. Uh. Uh. 
You okay? I think so. Whoa. How cool! The time gate, it's... What the hell is that? Fascinating. That's... that's 4D space. It might be. It is. How do you know? Hi. I don't know why, but I can sense it. Yes. This is 4D space. Yeah, I can sense it too. Something deep down inside is telling me that too. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I believe you. If you all feel that way, it must be. That means the Creator lies somewhere beyond this gate. Say, can we even exist in 4D space? Yeah, it's a completely different dimension. There's no way we can know for sure. Still, I don't think Dr. Lime God would have overlooked this. Right, but we can't know for sure, can we? I wonder. Hey, there's no use thinking about it. Let's just dive right in. Well, there you have it. Decisiveness is a virtue. No one, right. you, you can't go to 4D Let's space go, with them. Let's find and defeat the creator. <laughs> We're gonna go kill God. <laughs> of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool. Is that a new feature? Where are the executioners? No clue, but this must be 4D space. Wow, we made it here safely. What a relief. Sure is. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more tense, usually? This looks like a hotel to you. It's some kind of a trick. But this is definitely 4D space. No mistake there. Indeed. What the hell's going on here? Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Yes, you do. Who are you? Vlad Garen. That's not exactly what we meant, kid. Hey, don't worry. I'm not one of the bad guys. You sure about that? Come to my house. I think you may find out what you want to know there. Well, he doesn't look particularly dangerous. Maybe we will learn something. That's right. Right. Okay, let's go. It seems like he knows something about the execution. And we've nothing to gain from staying here. Nothing ventured, as they say. The obvious course of action. It's decided then. Hurry up, or else security will come. Come on. Friends, 
see. What's your full name? And where were you born? My name? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to know that? Nothing much. Just something I want to check. My name's Fate Line God. I'm from Earth. Good. Okay. Okay, so you are who I thought you were. Great, I believe it now. It's just like Blair said. Blair? Hey, kid, share the info, huh? Don't just sit there with your thinking face on. You're not related to those executioners, are you? No, not really. How should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? Eternal Sphere? Yeah! Check it out! Hey, that's... Huh? Why? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right! This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere! What's happening? Hey, kid! What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing, anyway? How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. A simulator? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Hey, what's this kid saying? We're just... characters living inside a simulator? That's right. In other words, we're... programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So, you're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? <clears throat> no, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it. So it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? Well, in a way, yeah. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Mm-hmm, exactly. According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say if they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. 
So they're fixing bugs. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait. If we're programs, how can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power, the alteration gene. Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingod, a program created by a program. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cuz, my buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. But don't get me wrong, I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Hmm... Curiosity, mainly. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing! I mean, who would ever imagine such a thing? Now that you put it that way... <laughs> you guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? Security? Bad guys? Flat, did you? I didn't do anything! Freeze! Get your hands up! You people are under arrest! Mom! Mom, did you call security? Vlad, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that one. Shall we? Yeah. Surrender quietly. Uh, oh, goodbye. Fucking. Oh, they're weak. Or I'm strong. Okay. I, okay. That was a lot of experience and money for them being so weak. And now they're dead. Ah! Uh, damn you! That's all of them? Hmm. <laughs> Maggots. That was easy. I assumed everyone in 4D was tough, like the Executioners. I guess the Executioners are exceptions. I guess so. The Executioners must be specially designed for the Eternal Sphere. Mm-hmm. I think you're probably right. Here, this is for you! What's this? If you guys don't believe what I tell you, then check it out for yourselves. There's a special Eternal Sphere Terminal in Gemini. Go take a look! Vlad, stop it this instant! <laughs> Smart little brat. Let's go to Gemini, like Flad suggested, and figure out what this disc does. No. Authentication... Authentication disc. But also, he's not talking to his mother when he gets older. Can I go back in their house? Or is there any chests around that I want?
Hi. I don't care what happens. There's no way I'm letting you come through here. Leave now. Do you want me to call the security guard again? Actually, if they're that easy, you know. Fletch, keep your mouth shut. Get out of here. She's in no mood to listen to anything I have to say. Okay, bye. Bitch. If I fight you again... Oh. Okay, uh, you don't want to fight me? I'm a thug. And, uh, murders happen. Okay. Um... Well, time to find my- where am I going? Archive Satellite City? Okay. I just- <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Uh, space station. Oh, I did something. Looks like we can get to Gemini from here. It's like a transport. Find out for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um, do I just uh, step up, but also chests? Oh, I didn't know I wasn't done. I, uh, I mean, what's back out there? Can I step up here? Opening a transport gate to the enter entertainment city of Gemini. The those wishing to transport to Gemini should proceed inside the system at this time. Use space station. Yes. Uh. Oh, save! So this is that city, Jimmy, that Vlad was talking to us about. Wow! Wow, this is like an amusement park! Laying in this place really drives home the fact that these people made our world. Yeah. There's no time to gawk. We have to look for a terminal for this internal sphere that Vlad was telling us about. That's right. Okay. Um... You have wings. How'd you like to try some real food? Oh. Okay. I... sure. Who you? Try these sacred nectars, which... used in the thing, and they're alcohol-free. Cool, how'd you do? I just wanted to buy things, um... But people are giving them to me for free. What's in here? But what do you do? Um... Okay. Q. 
Team Kitchen Knife. Uh... I'll pass on that for now. I, I still want that plush in the cat. Okay. Um, I wish I could point the camera down more. It'd be nice. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Let's in. The fuck is that? Laser weapon. Okay. Um, but it. Guess I'd be better than that one. Mmm, that's a lot of money though. Ah, uh, 600. Okay. You got me there. An owl bell. But I also could attach things to the weapons I thought, but I think I need to do that through the crafting. Okay. Um hi. Hi. Hello. Slightly embarrassed woman. I rented this costume, but I wonder if it suits me. I'm actually a little embarrassed to wear this actually. Person. Shiva Shiva. Okay. Uh, this is just a lot of these things. I think I think I I'm good. I have apple pies. You look weird. Okay, what's over here? That's a witch. Oh no, princess. Okay. Uh, I have all those already. Okay. Um. And this just goes out this way. Yes. Okay. So I looked. Did I? Mm -hmm. Wait. There is a yellow door here. Did I go in this one? I thought I went in this one. I did not go in this one. I like materials. Or you. Can I... Uh... Okay, I don't want to tell you stories. I didn't want to go outside either. So we're going back in. Can I not just step over that stool to get up there? Okay, didn't want to. Okay, I think I can continue forward then. I think I looked at everything. Oh my god. It's you. But also, I'm so confused. Uh, you're a princess? Okay. That's, that's a clown. And this is a nerd. I'm so concerned. Um... Oh, this. I like races. How do I... do things? Eh. Howdy. Uh, goes without saying there, but, um, prizes. Spend all the points you've earned in the bunny races. Um. Okay. Hold on. I think it's you. Beans, get out of the TV. Get your tickets here for the amazing bunny race festival. 
The next race is about to begin. Please hurry if you want to buy tickets. Okay. The next race is the oh no argument of cup. Okay. Looking. I can't look. No, I'm not looking everywhere. You look. People arguing over something. Oh no. Not this race again. If you want to watch, it's 300 full. Don't tell me you think it's too much. Okay. <sighs> Ah, uh, four. Very well, your bed is placed. Sir, enjoy the bunnies. Thanks, that's a bag. Oh my god. All bunnies, line up at the starting gate. I don't know if I bet it on four or number four. <laughs> Rabbit, what are you doing? I'm so concerned. That yellow one's so angry. Okay, so I did bet a number four then. I mean, I guess he's winning. He's kind of drunk. Result in Bunny number four wins, followed by Bunny number two in second place. Congratulations, our winners, losers, cheer up! And bye until next time. I'm a wiener. Congratulations, I'll add the points to your score in this one. You currently have three points. Uh, we'll be waiting for you. That sounds ominous, but okay. What can I buy anyway? I just let me see the prizes. Okay. Interesting. Why are you two fighting up there? Stop it. I might come back to this at a different time. But also, what's the commemorative prize? Uh. Praise, commands, blah blah blah, and there's cats killing each other in my window. What's this commemorative prize? Eh. What to do? Oh my god, it's so cute. Uh, may it bring back memories someday. I kind of want it in real life though. It's adorable. Spiky shoes. Those are spiky shoes. I think those are Pinellos. Alright, I'm gonna go play this. Why are you two like this? I'm gonna, it's a bit hard to Binx. Are you having fun? I don't even know which way I came in. I think I came in through this way. Yeah. Okay, so I... Might have to kill a cat. Um... Hey, that was the funnies, and this is... What's this? Um, what is this? Eat, yeah. Okay. 
This dude's okay. What? Wait. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I understand. Shut up. I don't... I didn't want to go anywhere. Where am I going? The fuck am I? You just sent me back outside? Okay, so... I mean... You could send me back there, but I'm not ready. The bunny thing. Runa chats, yes. Hi. I have come to the right place. This is your first time here? Uh, kinda. How rude of me. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Duke Gurat Guterin. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello, I'm Fate. Nice to meet you. Ho ho, what a polite young man you are. I like you, boy. I have a feeling that we were meant to be here to meet. To meet here. Let me teach you this noble game. Sure. Um, I kinda already know how to do it. No, no explanation needed. It's fine. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... Let's start with the beginner, so I remember how to do things. Let's go. Let the game begin. Select where you want to place your piece. Cancel. Do -do -do. Okay, um... I can't see shit up there. Uh... I hope I have this right. I. Symbologist. Eh. Beat him up. What a fantastic game! Take this prize, it is appropriate for the difficulty. Happy berries! Come again, young man. Oh my god, that's cute. Let's go again! Eh, it's your b fuck. Juju, do you, do you need help? What are you doing? Uh, pick your difficulty. I kinda wanna do advanced. Uh, Juju, you are advanced. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. So these are the... Think up on the first one right now. Oh, the ah, uh, that's how you check the fucking. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Um. Thief. I think. 
four years? What? No. Maybe. I'm gonna do four. Um. Uh. Symbologist? Question mark? And. Which one am I on? On that one. Beef. Okay. Start. How dare you! Ow. I did I wound! Gotta crack my neck. What a fantastic game! And at the highest difficulty, no less. Take this wonderful prize that is appropriate for this difficulty level. Don't know what that is, but it's mine now. Come again, young man. What'd I get? Uh, no, wait, not. What does it do? Flask fluff. It's. <laughs> By a geek. I wonder if I give that to someone to recruit them. Should I go again, maybe? Maybe. I mean, I thought this was a great place to farm money. I can always come back. Oh, this map is hard to see over this layout. Um, okay, I came from that. I mean, what happens if I do go back to the thing? Yes. Let's go. At present, access to any time period of the Milky Way is completely prohibited. If you were playing the Milky Way, I suggest you move to another galaxy. Everyone, please stand in front of me and close your eyes. It is my solemn duty as your guide to other worlds to send you safely into Eternal Sphere. Words summoning demons.
Oh good. It's asking for an ID disk. Looks like you can't access from here unless you register first. Seriously? Oh, and after coming all this way... Hey, do you think maybe we could use Vlad's disk? Maybe. It's worth a shot. Maria? Vlad said. The Milky Way is locked. You can't get in. What should we do? Excuse me, can I try? Sure. I don't mind. What's going on? I can't believe it. I've got system administrator privileges. Huh? What? Sophia must have done something to it when she touched it. But how? All I did was touch it. I thought maybe I could do something like I did with the time gate. I wished as hard as I could that I could go to the Milky Way. I'm sorry. You used the power of connection. You connected us to the Milky Way. I can't believe it actually works in this dimension, too. At any rate, we're in. I'll grant myself access privileges to the Milky Way. Then I'll leave a Trojan that will allow me to access it whenever I want. Okay. Um... I found the Milky Way data and there's a cat in my screen. God damn it, go away! But it will take a little longer to put input our personal data. Sorry, but you'll have to wait a little longer. Fuck. Maria's a mean typist. I think she might even be the second fastest in the universe. Wow, but if she's the second in the universe, then who's the best? <laughs> well, I know one thing for sure, it ain't me. No? Uh, where did- oh, there you are. If the people of this world really are our creators, then as long as they are good people, I'll accept them as gods. But if they're not, then we don't need them. Isn't that enough? Someone here made our world, then we will need to do... Then all we need to do is go right to them and then force them to do something about the executioners. Simple. True. I wonder if Maria is okay. I wish I had better control of my power. Is she done? This game should be much easier to control if you just play it normally. We assume that everything the kid flat said it was true. For all of us to continue existing as we are, we must enter all of our DNA information correctly. Okay, done. Where would you like to try to go? Anywhere's fine with me. I wonder what Mirage and the rest of them are up to. I hope the executioners didn't get them. Uh, I kind of want to go see Mirage now. Um, 
Wow, this is a... Let's, let's go back to Elicor. So you want to check out Elicor too? Okay, let's go. This is... Hmm. A boring world. Unbelievable that we made it this far and we didn't even have to use the time gate. Amazing. I guess we have no choice but to believe what Vlad was telling us. So we're really just programs? Somebody made us? That's what it looks like, yes. I don't know what else to think. If that's true, then the death of my father... And Amina and Dion. That was all part of some program? Right. But even if we are programs, we're still alive. We have to be. If we see something as reality, then isn't that reality for us? Isn't that true? Yeah, it's not like our lives are programmed. There's more to us than that. You know what they say, I think, therefore I am. crew of the Aquaeli. Right. That's right. We're not done yet. We still gotta lay the smack down on that creator for what he's done to us. It's going to be dangerous. Yeah. We have to do it or else who will? It's decided then. Yeah, you're right. But can we really beat the creator? A 4DB? Of course we can. We defeated the security team, so we know we can hurt them. You're right. We'll just have to do our best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, air ill. Air hills. Ugh. But I would like to go and see if I can get Nell. It'd be amazing. Alright, here's Nell. Nice to see you, Fate. Why don't you stay well? You are more than welcome here. Seriously, I... Maybe it's a different time that I have to come back and get her. Ooh. Can I give that book to Elena now? Or... Sigh. Let's see. That's not Elena's room. That's the runologist room. It's not the right room. Still not. Elena. Have you anything to report? Well, you could find this field and... Okay, well I guess I can't give you that note then. Oh my god, that's so much money. Let's go. Okay. So much teleporting. All right then, what's next? I think it would be fastest to go to the Sphere Company, the group that developed the Eternal Sphere. Sounds good. The Sphere Company is in that place they call the Lost City, right? 
That's right. Let's go through the station to the Lost City. Everything that matters will happen after we get there. You say that, but also... Hmm. Can I still teleport places? Yeah. Okay. Go on. Down for maintenance, so... Yep. Okay. This is possible... Okay, so I can do that. Okay. Alright. Where do I go from here? I have no clue. Welcome back. How was your adventure in the world of... Move. Uh, the doors that will return you to the real world are right behind you. Please visit again soon. I literally have no clue where to go. Oh my god. This is chess. if I could actually see the map, but okay. No. Binks, do you mind? I think it was back this way? There were shops also. Um, does anyone have blueberries? You're not blueberries. Taking all of your apple pies. No apple pies for anyone but me. Uh, no. Okay, well, that was the bar I thought, but. Hi. I. Yep. Delicious. Did it. Did it fill me? Yes. Um, oh. What's this behind here? Oh my god, treasure! Prophecies. Rapid stuff. Ripe berries. Okay, let's go in here and see what we can do. Where would you like to go? We'd like to go to the Lost City. May I have your names, please? I'm Fateline God. I'm Sophia Esteed. I'm Maria Trador. I'm Cliff Fitter. <laughs> the name's Albel. Papita Rossetti. Okay, please wait a moment while a cat tries to break my stuff. Terribly sorry, but you do not have the proper access to privilege to travel to the Lost City. Go away. <laughs> the Lost City is off limits for transportation by those without access privileges for security reasons. So sorry. Where the fuck did you go? <laughs> Did you- do you have some business there? Nothing- no. No, go away. Damn. So what will we do? Do? What can we do? Get the station guy out of the way. By killing him. I think I may be able to rewrite our access privileges. Well. Ah, there you are. 
Uh, yeah. I just got word from Lost City. You've been given access to privileges. Huh? Someone going by the name of... I'm going to kill you. At the B... With the B. Bees. Yes, that's what they said. They said you'd know who that was, and there was a child once. Flat. Oh yeah, the boy. We met archives. Oh yeah, right. That thing. <laughs> An acquaintance of Flat? Who could that be? Well, he did mention that he knew somebody at Sphere Blair, or something like that. Must be who it is. Stop. Yeah, probably. Well, we can trust the person, can't we? I wonder if this could be a trap. Right, we should probably play it safe and assume it's a trap. Why? What is that pose, Cliff? Right. These are the people who run the Eternal Sphere, so there's a good chance they know what they're up to. Yeah, but... It's not like we have any other way of going to the... the cat on the floor. Uh, even if it's a trap, we have a little choice. You're right. Maybe we should go be grateful and invite ourselves in. Did you say Sphere? That's the company that developed the Snack that Smells Back, isn't it? I play that too, it's fun. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Sphere, the city of lostness. Yeah, you're indeed. Go. Have fun. We can go direct to the Sphere? That's right, Lost City is full of... Cats. <laughs> Mainly... Uh, information technology. Travel is basically restricted to one destination in order to rent spying. Is that right? That makes it so much easier to ambush us. Exactly. So, if they block off the gate, it will be easy for them to cut off all the avenues of escape. That's pretty dangerous. We'll be fine. Wink, wink. Fate. Blink, blink. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I did have a good time. Uh, I want to go... Uh, we're tied to... Sphere. <laughs> We'd like to go to Sphere. Well, we're gonna go. Alright. As soon as someone stops talking. You don't need any more drugs. What is wrong with you? I knew it! A trap! Welcome to the Sphere Company Anomalies. I am Azazer. I manage the security department and report directly to the owner. I don't know how you managed to outsmart station security, but nevertheless, I bid you welcome. Of course, I cannot even begin to comprehend how characters such as yourselves were able to cross through to the real world. Video games. What do you mean, outsmart? You're the one who let us through. Let you through? What are you talking about? You didn't arrange that incident back at the station? I don't know what you are talking about, but it's safe to say it had nothing to do with me. Hmm. I'll have to look into this later. I just might find a rat or two in unexpected places. But first, I must show you all some of our hospitality. Hospitality? Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll be very hospitable. Yes, of course. Then again, the direction our hospitality takes depends on your willingness to cooperate. What do you mean? I'll be brief. We won't delete you if you agree to assist us. Assist you? We find you extremely fascinating. Many of our developers over at the research division are deeply interested in studying you. So we're to become your guinea pigs then? Correct. If we agree to be your test subjects, will you stop the executioners that you release into our galaxy? No, that's simply not possible. The Milky Way has already been contaminated. That partition must be completely erased. You will be all that remains. There will be nothing left of your galaxy. Forget it then. 
You think we'd actually agree to that? Hmm. Do we have a problem here? What about your friends? Yeah, we got a problem. What did you expect? Then you leave me no choice. I'll have to apologize to the research section later. I suppose it's only natural for dysfunctional entities such as yourselves to be deleted. You won't be deleting anyone without a fight. Come back to the warrant, but also I'm gonna keep my bonus. So uh, good luck, guys. Uh, okay. Well, now you've done it. Ow. Sophia, you don't do yourself. Sophia, you're dumb. Ow. Where's my stuff? There you are. Well, now that I have nothing to lose, everyone's gonna die. Including Sophia. Um... Oh my god. Fire... Sword. Alvao got a pose. Oh my god. Sophia. You're not that much underleveled. You're just data! And you have stupid haircut. And I can't get worth shit, don't mind me. Hold on. I have sword. Sword! Air slash! Sword! Sword! Destruction! Sword! Sword gun. Who's dying? Because not me. You're gonna finish me off? Mm. Uh, good luck, Sophia. Good night. Thank you, come again. He has nothing to say about this. No one has anything to say about this. You can summon Ifrit? Where'd he go? Okay. Thank you. What? So, did we kill him? Or is he just a little bitch? The security system! There's no turning back now! Yeah, we've come this far. The only way now is forward. Let's go to the research section he was talking about. Once we find the terminal that controls the eternal speed, we can smash it to pieces. Nothing stopping us from going backwards. Are you are you are you dead? Hello? Azar 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 Azar. He was the one who managed the security department here. Let's find that research section he was talking about. We could throw his body off this thing. See what it did. See what it does did. Good night. Okay, what am I doing with my life today? I had to take a break because it started raining very hard and he's still dead and 
That may be a door. I'm just checking all my shit here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so is that where I came in at, I think? And then this is a place over here. Um Oh, what's that? Oh, it heals me! That's weird. Okay, um, we go through here. Binks is also halfway in front of my TV. What is the meaning of that? Nothing. I don't see the meaning of anything that is happening in those rooms. Things are on sale! I should probably go back and invent more when I get a uh, chance here. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. Shut up. Stairs. Okay, but... Anything? No. Just, just stairs. Just... Hi, okay, cat. Oh, it's thing. Is there anything in this room that I desire? No, but why are there like two here? I'm... Can you guys move so I can like just take a gander of his door? <laughs> why is this place so confusing? There's nothing there. Oh, nope. I'm just running anywhere that I can. <laughs> Hi everybody. Bye everybody. You suck at catching things. Catch a cold, maybe. I don't know. But, you know, chest. What are you doing? Stop! I'll come back here one day and probably explore more, but who knows. Uh, I guess this way? Eh. And goodbye! <laughs> guys are so fast, but such dicks. Well, I'm going up, so that's a thing. I know that word, but I forgot what it means. Oh my fucking god, why are there so many robots in my space? I'm so good at dodging. Until I'm not. Because I probably just jinxed myself. What? Okay, I think I have to get that started. I mean, it looks like it. This is ominous. Ah! Fucker scared me. Uh, more stairs. Oh my god. Hey, save! Point. Chests? No? Okay, I didn't form them. Uh, 
What's over there? What's over there? Nothing, I don't know. What's this? Oh. It's no use. This one won't open either. Man, they're like roaches. One after the other. There's no end to them. Still, we've entered the research section. Now it's just a matter of finding the office responsible for the Eternal Spear. But we can't enter any more rooms. Maybe we need a key or something. If we could find that... No time for that. Here comes trouble. Uh, they're behind us, too! What? Uh-oh. We might not be able to handle this many. Don't say that. You're bumming me out. This way. Damn! They blocked it from the inside! That was close. Thank you so much for helping us. Who are you? Isn't it customary to introduce yourself before asking fate, line god? <coughs> <laughs> I'm Blair. Blair Lansfeld. I'm one of the researchers developing the Eternal Sphere here. Blair. Oh yeah. Yes, I'm a friend of Flad's, the boy you met on Archives. You're his friend? He's been quite concerned about you, although this is all very exciting for him as well. This is not the place to discuss such things. Follow me. W hey! The locks here are quite strong, but they can be easily opened if management really puts its mind to it. There are rooms with even tighter security up ahead. That is where the others are. The others? Yes, this way. So, no one going back? There. There are more enemies up here. Are we good? I mean, it would probably been a good place to level up, but. Here we are. These are the others who are in charge of the Eternal Sphere. Would you please explain to us what's going on? What are you going to do to us? I'll get right to the point. We'd like to offer you our help. Offer your help? Yes. Management has made a decision recently to which we're opposed. We don't think it is wise to directly intervene in the Eternal Sphere, even when unexpected situations arise. That's right. Sending in the executioners like that is a needlessly violent solution. We think of the Eternal Sphere as a parallel world, one we created with our own hands. But the life forms there now think and act on their own. Now that it has become a reality that exists on its own terms, we do not believe we should interfere. The only difference between you and us is the dimension we live in. I can see you've had a major influence on Flad. I believe so, but I don't think his mother is very pleased. We propose that the Eternal Sphere data should be placed in a museum where it will be kept safe from interference. We were discussing what to do about the Executioners. We felt something must be done with these entities bent on destroying your galaxy. We will not turn you over to the Security Department without a struggle, for we feel a common bond with all of you. I get it now. It all makes sense in a way. You were saying the Executioners must be dealt with. Do you have an actual plan for doing so? Yes. We've already prepared an uninstaller to remove them.
this attack program will not affect the indigenous life forms of the Eternal Sphere, only foreign entities like the Executioners. Despite their grandiose name, they too are nothing more than a type of program. We expect the uninstaller to work. If you've had such a handy little tool, why didn't you use it right away? This uninstaller has some limitations. It will only work if it's run within the Eternal Sphere. The Executioner Project was programmed in a manner that makes it impossible for us to interfere with it directly. So is that the only limitation? If so, we should just take it back to our dimension and use it. Entry into the Milky Way partition of the Eternal Sphere is currently not possible. Access from general terminals will be blocked until the Executioner procedure is complete. Yeah, but... We were able to enter the Milky Way through the large terminal in Gemini. Yes, you are unique. I don't exactly understand the mechanism, but you seem to have the power to break through the barriers separating your dimension and ours. It's incomprehensible to me, but the fact remains. It seems to work. Hmm. I see. Care to share, Maria? You're pretty dense. In short, we need to take the uninstaller to the Eternal Sphere. Because we're the only ones that can go there right now. That's correct. Our goals are the same. So I'm sure you have no objections. Will using the uninstaller really destroy the executioners? Yes, it will. You can count on it. After all, Blair programmed it. She's the best, or at least second best, programmer in the Sphere Company. I don't know about best or second best, but I try to create the best programs I can. Okay. You have our trust. Thank you. So how do we get back to the Eternal Sphere? Should we head back to Gemini? It's not possible to travel to Gemini right now from this building. The route to the station has already been sealed off, most likely to prevent your escape. In that case, you'll have to use a terminal within this building. There are terminals in this building too? Yes, there are, but... What? Is there a problem? It's location. The location? Yes. The terminals are located <laughs> in the highest security block within this building. The security department has probably beefed up its presence over there. Is that all? There's no problem with the terminals themselves? I don't think there'll be a problem. I haven't heard about any new security enhancements either. It's always been configured to prevent access to the Milky Way galaxy. But since you were able to travel there before... Then we have nothing to worry about. We just need to get going. Right. So Blair, tell us how we can get to that terminal. The terminal is in the owner's office on the top floor. Okay. Everybody, let's go! But wait a moment. I'm going with you. You're coming? Blair, what are you talking about? I don't think you could make it to the top floor by yourselves. Security measures will have likely been put in place to stop you. I might not be much help in the Eternal Sphere, but I can still help while you're here. I won't be much use in a fight, though. But... Why not? We could use her help. Yeah, there's too much we don't understand. We shouldn't turn down help when it's needed. Okay. Thanks for offering. You can count on me. This way. Let's use the large elevator beyond this door. The terminal for the Eternal Sphere is on the top floor. Oh, uninstaller. I can do that. Alright. Is there anything that I should know about here? Oh, that was weird. Um, elevator. Oh god, that was loud. I didn't like that. Great. 
I'm sure this is going to be a lot of fun. Very disappointing, Blair. I knew we held somewhat different ideals, but I never thought you'd betray me. That voice? Is that the owner? Owner, please listen to me. I hate to lose you, but that cannot be helped now. If the root cause is not eliminated, it will contaminate that which is still uncorrupting. Corrective measures Owner. are necessary. Blair, what's going on? It seems the owner, Luther, has gotten wind of our plan. I fear he intends to delete you, and me as well, now that he knows about my complicity. There's something coming. could do whatever you pleased. Belzebur. What a pity. Seems the owners decided to delete you too. You have defied the owner in spite of the risks that you knew were involved. <laughs> Since we go back such a long way, we'll try to make your death as painless as possible. It's my jam. Be careful, Norman. Okay, uh, you. Uh. You were not having a good time over there. Oh my god. Uh, I'll go. Uh, don't fuck me. Um, um. Uh. Holy shit. You dare? I do dare. Um, hold on. I'm thinking. Ow. Okay, so. You Oh, petrified an enemy? No, I don't need that right now. Uh Okay, you're just spamming that like a little dude. Oh my god. What the hell does this do? 
Precious little uninstaller. It's completely useless. The owner has al already choked on a dick. The owner has what? What has he done? I thought I understood, but after seeing it myself, I find it hard to believe. Believe what? The power you all possess to think you could defeat these two. And I'm really astonished to see you are able to invoke symbology in this dimension. How is that possible? Does it frighten you? You haven't changed your mind, have you? You don't think we should be erased? Don't misjudge me. I'm sorry. It's okay, as long as you understand. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but what are we gonna do about that elevator? Is there any other way to the top floor? There is another way, but I'm afraid it will be swarming with enemies. If it's the only way, then we have no choice but to take it. True. And... Just like that, they were buried. Do I do something with you? Okay, so I just go back out. Okay, got it. Oh. I was like, where the fuck am I? Save, though. Okay. So, I guess I'm heading out then. Which way did I come in? I think I... Okay, there's only two ways. Oh god. This place is too big.
getting shit back. Oh, there's that chest though, and I want it. Eh. If I can open it. Ooh, ceramic gauntlet. I think that's for Cliff. But also Mirage. Well, that's this. This is the elevator control panel. You should be able to operate the elevator with this. Touch it. I did it. Now what's this way? Nothing. Well, I did something. Laser weapon. Does that apply for her to does? Uh it lowers that by a lot though. But it heightens the attack by a lot. Hmm. But it, if it's fine. I haven't really been even using any of these. Oh. Are these it? Does it matter what I pick? Two eleven floor. Wait, was I? I was here before, or something. Yeah. Wait, does it still matter which one I pick though, or are they both from here? I need to make sure. Two eleven third floor. What if I go with this one? Oh no! They're all different! <laughs> well, I haven't been on this. No, I have. I just haven't came that way. Shit, it was on the top floor. So shouldn't I go up? What's this way, though? Treasure. Which I don't need it. Alright, so up we go. This is the third floor. This should be the fourth floor. This is the fifth floor? Or... Fifth? Yes. Okay, so is the fifth floor the highest I can go right now? Or... Oh! Uh, Ooh. Go to floor six. Yes, I do. I do. All the way! Yeah, you did say the top floor. What floor would you like to go to? I. Oh, I could have did it by tens. Oh well. Goodbye. I have arrived. No treasure for me? That's fine. I didn't want treasure. Doozy of a question of buildings. I don't know where I'm going. But what the hell? <laughs> you know, usually just running around, uh, it'll 
I'll find my way eventually. You can't touch me. You're not allowed. Okay, now fuck off. Heal. And then save. Okay. Actually, that would have been a really good spot to probably level up to. <laughs> this way. This is the only terminal in this building that can access the Milky Way right now. Get inside. I'll configure it from out here. Okay. We're counting on you. Thanks, Blair. We'll save the Eternal Sphere. Don't you worry. You really saved the day. I think we can pull this off thanks to you. See you soon. We owe you one. Hey. Thanks. Sorry for all the trouble. We'll give it our best shot. Um, Blair? Thank you for all you've done. We'll never forget it. Blair, thanks for everything. Give it your best shot. Only you can save your own reality. All right. Farewell. Goodbye. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess back to Cliff it is. Uh, this is terrifying. Okay. Let's go. We'll take care of these things. This is the real thing. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's darkness. <laughs> I don't expect to keep my chain. Yeah. Scorching flame! Grant me your power! Keep that thought. Um... Uh. Out of my way. No. 
Come on, Cliff, you gotta make it last. I don't have many left. Oh my god. Should have laid low while you still had the chance. Ha. Nothing yet, Sophia? Sorry. Uh, hold on a bit longer. I'm working on it. Not again. I hope they're easier than the angels. Be great. This is the real thing. Okay. Sword. Did you already kill him? Um, he sounds like he's angry. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm afraid. Okay. That was easy. No. <laughs> Greatest. Oh, vampire stuff. Oh yeah. And he learned fear. I learned that a long time ago. To that owner guy. Nothing to worry about now. Those irritating executioners are gone. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go home. I thought Earth was destroyed, but okay. The heartless. Be 
careful. It's from the organization. What do you? Oh, hello. Um, I am not ready for you. Hold on. I need blackberries for myself. Thank you. Okay. Now. What's happening over there? I can't see anything. What's this do? Mm, I don't think that works on bosses. This one. Oh. Um. Cliff, get back up. We have jobs to do. Where's my... I know I haven't left. There we go. Okay. Now... I need at least 90%. There we go. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Oh my god, he's so creepy. Come on, I believe in this. Oh, okay, um... I'll just provide support, you guys get him. He's after me anyway. Oh my god. You guys did it. Good job, guys. I think I'm getting the hang of this. This power won't go to waste. <laughs> that was close. That wasn't good. It's smaller than before, but so much more powerful. Everyone, can you hear me? Blair? Oh, good. You're all okay. Blair, what in the world is going on? We used the uninstaller, but it didn't get rid of the executioners. That's just it. We've been tricked. You mind filling us in? What's going on? You're gonna tell us what's going on, right? Yes. It seems the owner anticipated our move. Anticipated? That's right. The owner suspected that we'd use the uninstaller, so he prepared a security program. It was a special program set to activate only when the uninstaller was used. That would explain that new executioner we just fought. You already saw one? Yeah. We just finished it off a minute ago. You defeated it? Yeah, but it was tough. I see. So I guess you figured out that these convictors are different from the enforcers you've faced so far. They're smaller, but their combat parameters are set much higher. The galaxy is doomed if we don't do something. Isn't there anything we can do? The activation of the security program left traces in your dimension. In short, the owner is now within the Eternal Sphere. 
Well, so what are we supposed to do about it? I plan on explaining that to you too. You must go try to reason with the owner. I think the galaxy will be spared if you can get him to uninstall the security program. Yes, but do you really think he'll listen? If we need to uninstall the security program, we'll do it by force if necessary. That's right. The owner has probably entered into a discontiguous space he himself has created. You'll need a special ID or intervention device to go there. A special ID? To your eyes, it would appear to be a mysterious item that you don't know how to use. Your people call such things out-of-place artifacts, OPAs. We prepared them for use within the Eternal Sphere. I suppose you could call them debugging tools. They have immense power within the Eternal Sphere when used by someone who understands their potential. So what do they actually look like? They take many forms. Some are crystal cubes, while others appear to be strange devices. It all depends on the whim of their developer, and on the locations in which they are placed. So you're saying now we have to search the galaxy for an object that could look like anything? There's no time for that! Game over, man! Hold on a second. I'm going to search the database. I found one. The special ID in the Milky Way appears to be a silvery sphere. It does not have any special effect in particular, but it contains a great deal of energy. I think I can pinpoint its location. Just a second. I'm still looking. A silver sphere? Yes. That's what the data says. Oh, that star has already been annihilated. Other than that... Oh, what a mess. Hey, Blair. By any chance, is it about this big? Yes, just about that size. Why do you ask? Blair, it wouldn't be on Elacor 2, would it? Elacor 2? Hold on, let me check. I found it! It is there! Of course. How did you know? We've already seen it. We were charged with protecting it while we were on Elacor. The people there call it the Sacred Orb. I see. What a strange coincidence. You should be able to access the discontiguous space with that Sacred Orb. Okay, everyone. We're off to Elacor. Let's go! And Sophia, when you find the Sacred Orb, you must touch it. Why me? The special IDs are devices originally placed in the Eternal Sphere for 4D beings to use. They are configured so that other beings cannot use them for their intended purpose. In short, it is useless to all of you except Sophia. Based on what I've seen so far, I think she's the only one who can use it. Okay. Once it reacts, think of me in your mind. Think of this place. That should enable you to get in contact with me again. Okay. I'll try. Be careful. Oh my god. What a thing that we're getting ourselves into. But I did it. Second try. With these bitches. So Maria turned out to be more helpful than she appeared to be. Alright, where is... Where go? Where do go? I can't go back through the gate, I don't think. No. Do I just roam around until somebody helps me. 
And I'm not even going the right way, and I'm not looking at the map. There we go. <laughs> I no, okay. Didn't think I could. Okay, go away. <laughs> I mean, I have the resources to fight maybe one or two of you, and that's it. <gasps> Tentacles. Not good. Uh, goodbye. I don't trust myself to fight you. Holy shit. Holy shit. What? You just An hate me. That's same. Retreat against my nature. At least there's only one there. If I ever want to come back and level up, I know where to come, guys. Oh god. Oh, you're so weird. Can you, like, get the fuck out of my face? And this is a dead end. Wait. Oh my god. Alright, fine, I'll fight you. I know I can win against you. Ow. It's not the great or the strong. It's the strong. It's the strong. Why? Why? <laughs> Fucking robot. And, oh god. It's a snake woman. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. An attack from behind? What a sneaky move! Uh, it's very. You know what? I. Sure. Okay, they're a lot easier than I thought they were gonna be. I still don't trust the tentacle ones though. No, oh, wait, some biology. I need to get past. Can I like scoot over this way? No, okay, I don't want to. Blazing! Uh, I'm concerned, but I'm also curious. It's a octopus heel. And now it's invisible. Oh, 
That was easy. My concentration has improved. You're not even looking at the camera. Okay, tentacle. Well, not tentacle, but you know, snake tentacles. Snakeles. Are we there yet? Huh? Now what do we do? We're in a pickle. That's for sure. This stinks. Any transmissions? for later. Can you come get us right away? Roger. Huh? What happened to the shuttle you took there? We've been through a lot here too, you know? Sorry, but we don't have much time. Right. We'll be there as fast as we can. See you soon. I'm counting on you. Mirage, take us to Alcor. Alcor, Roger. No, oh my God. Fucking amazing. Okay, so the oh, no. hell <laughs> The executioners continued their attack on the Milky Way while everyone was away in 40 space, but they all suddenly vanished just as you returned. It's because we activated their trap card. <laughs> However, several minutes after they vanished, a new, more powerful type of executioner appeared. Gerald. We suspect that his new model is using the quadru quadrium spheres as an internal power source. Big words. Um, okay. You do that. I'm gonna go... Oh... Okay, hi. Anyway, Faye, I understand your frustration, but shouldn't you rest up a little? There's not much you can do in gravity war. She's right. You won't have time to rest after we arrive. Besides, the trip to Alicor won't take very long anyway. You'll wear yourself out if you don't get rest and rest now. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, one of those kinds of cut guys. Steak. Steak? I want steak. Uh, well, he really is serious when you get right down to it. No doubt about it. I know somebody who could learn a lesson or two from you. And then somebody would be... It could be me and... Uh, no fucking way. Was there anyone else? If you can't think of anyone else, it might be. Then I guess you're it? To tell the truth, I find it pretty hard. Like me, I'm hard. 
that you're the ultimate weapon that will save the galaxy. The first time I ever heard about you, they were praying, I mean saying, praying and saying, that you were a biological weapon created by the Panda Galactic Federation as in an attempt to control the universe. You actually sound like a pretty scary person, to be honest. I'm gonna nod my head, and I approve. But now that I've actually met you, you're more cute than scary. Uh, um... Hey, wait. Appearances have nothing to do with it. I mean, if you could tell how much power someone had by how they looked, wouldn't our leader have to look like some hideous monster? Now that you put it that way, I guess you're right. We'd better stop talking like this. Unless we're careful, Lieber will hear about it and, you know, he'll be more than a little furious. Because he's a fucking mom's boy. Yeah, he got off with a little Kano. He's incredibly sensitive when it comes to that sort of talk. Of course, the leader could all hardly care less. Are you talking about Lieber? I, they literally just said Lieber, but okay. What do you mean? Basically, all of us in Quark joined the organization because we agreed with its philosophy. Lieber, on the other hand, has another not so idealistic reason for hanging around. You must have some, kind of, some idea of what I'm talking about, right? Um. Well, I guess I kind of see the picture? Thing is, he's not he's got me wrong. I didn't know about Maria. In fact, I didn't even know about myself until now. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think Lieber will understand that. Nope, not a chance. He's not the type to understand logic. All he understands is his emotions. When it comes to the leader, he could care less about the facts. All that's important to him is the fact that our leader saw you as another person in the same situation herself. At the very least, you f she felt a certain sense of kinship with you. Maybe affinity would be a better choice of words. Either way, you meant something special to her. That alone is enough to set him off. So he's a Yandere? There's nothing worse than male jealousy, if you ask me. Well, sure, it's not a very polite, pretty sight to behold. You ask me if you jealous, you can just get as ugly. So I gotta take him out. I knew he was an asshole. But also, save. <laughs> Make the sleepy quarter type out there! But which room is mine? <laughs> oh, hey. Those executioners are fearsome, but Waltor and the king are no fools. Those two should know enough to escape death at their hands. Am I sleep in your room? <laughs> no, okay. I, I was joking, haha. Lancar's room. I, why don't I, my room is not next to Albel and I'm sad about it. Steeg. Glyph. Can I sleep in this room? Where do I sleep? If the people living in 40 space really are what we call gods in our universe, then I guess we'd better not make fun of, re of religion after all. Still won't stop me. At least I was right about one thing. All those high and mighty guys are nothing but self-serving jerks. I'll find my room eventually. Is Lieber down here? Is, was he down here? Probably somewhere, I don't know. Hi. Hey, Fate! You've been to the planet Alcor before, right? You were also there at one time. Uh, you just don't remember it. What's it like there? For instance, what color does it remind you of most? Blood. Sometimes I get so worried. I just don't know what to do. I wonder if maybe we're going to be too late. Hopefully just my nerves getting to me. Can I sleep in this room? Is this my room? Is this not my room? Okay. No one's in here. But sure. Oh, Mary has room. Mirage's room. Lieber room? Of Lieberty? <laughs> I don't know what that was. This is our lucky day. No. 
that's that's not it. Oh, hello, leader. Don't hold back. Come to my arms and cry your heart out. No, that's not good. She's not like that at all. I just can't think of the right words. Ugh, how long have you been standing there? Forever. Maria's room? Okay, so do I sleep in the... That one place that is, uh... That, that heals sick people? <laughs> um... I, I don't know what was called. Infirmary, some shit. I sleep there. I go, I go sleep. Uh, where can I sleep? I was told to sleep. Okay, what's in these rooms? Shut up. Okay. Is this still the conference room down here too? Yes. Okay, I don't know what you want me to do about this. Do I talk to you again? Uh, why won't he give up? I can never do that myself. It would hurt too much. Understandable. Do I just... Can I sit next to you? It's... I mean, I talked to everyone except Maria. Where is Maria? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, uh, we... Destroy. Uh. Oh, you're just a man. I don't care what you have to say. Yeah, because I don't know where Maria is. Like, I look everywhere, I think? I mean, I guess there's this down here. That can't be it. Okay, what if I go back to the rooms, then? I forgot his room was whose. You're- you're a man. And... Oh my god. Can I not just sleep anywhere that I want to? I sleep in here. Can Cliff and I share a room? Oh, hi, Lampart. Okay. You know, it's kind of creepy how he's hanging out outside Maria's room. Oh, she's right there. Oh my god. To be honest, I hated the professor on his team. I was even jealous of you guys. What a fool I was. I wish I had a chance to really think things over just once. Okay. Well, I talked to everyone. Um, I can't let anyone see me like this. Okay. So, now that I talked to her, can I go sleep in the room? Or do I talk to Mirage? Well, let's go talk to Mirage, then. Can we go? Okay, good. Oh, Faith. You'll arrive at Elicor 2 soon. You're ready, right? Then let's head to the transporter room. Did you say let's? Mirage, don't tell me you're planning on coming too. That's right. There's nothing else I can do here on the Diplo anyway. It's too dangerous. We could be killed at any time. Are you worried about me? Please don't. I'll be fine. I know I don't look like much, but I can fend for myself. I'm the one who taught Maria how to fight, you know. If you're still worried about me, talk to Cliff. I don't think he'll try and stop me. Roger. Let's go. And maybe pick up Nell eventually, if I can.
Let's go to Aquios. At least there's not sand in my shoes this time. But there's angels everywhere and that scares me. 